is in this video we are going to see about the constructors in php so already you know constructor in java where uh, when you are creating an object you uh, you will create uh, you will pass the argument uh, for the constructor so what is actually a constructor when you are creating an object creation of during the creation of the object itself if you are initializing the member variables in of the class then you call it as a constructor so it is used to create as well as initialize an object at the same time so for example already we have seen this uh, example set, uh, set author name there is a function called set author name in the previous examples where you pass the data and assign this value to the uh, member variable so this is how you assign variable but instead when creation of the object itself you are sending the data then we call it as a constructor say for example in php you store you create a constructor with this keyword that is double underscore here there are two underscores consecutive underscore and followed by the keyword construct uh, whereas in java and the c++ you will be giving the name of the class itself here okay but here you don't give name of the class instead you give the keyword construct and then followed by the arguments so function double underscore construct then whatever the parameters you want to pass it you can pass it for the assignment of the member variables and then here you will do the assignment statement now we'll see with an example see here function construct in this data you are passing the value you are passing that is assigned to the local member variable now we'll see with an example uh, all these are html tags then you create a class uh, that is uh, you start constructing a class called author and then you have the variable name that is local variable local member variable and then you use a keyword double underscore construct and then you pass the parameter for this member variable so that you are assigning just like you are uh, uh, already what we have seen a function here we have you we are using set author name also in order to differentiate this we'll see how these two differ differs then uh, using get author name we return this value to the main program we call we get the value of this member uh, variable from the main program through this get author name okay now in the main program what we do is we create an object called kalki equal to new author and here itself we pass the parameter just like a function we pass the parameter so this is called constructor here we have created the object called kalki uh, along with the parameter for the variable so here what we have done when it is executed immediately it call this constructor you don't explicitly call so this itself will call this constructor and the value is passed here and it is assigned to the local member variable uh, this is another object where we uh, what we have done previously that is without any parameter so here what we have done is we have just instantiated we have created an instance whereas here the kalki is created the, this instance is created as well as it is initialized with this value whereas here it is only created how we are setting the value by using the set author name that is here we call this and we pass the argument this is what we have seen in the previous video so using this also you can pass values to, and assign to the uh, member variables whereas using constructor it can be while creation itself while creation of this object itself you can pass values for the member variables so this is how you pass then you can um, print the value by using the uh, member uh, that is functions now we'll see how it gets executed so this is a normal function Yes, here I haven't used any constructor. 
uh, this already we have seen this example that is a uh, public function is created using set author name where uh, here an uh, object is created and you create that object with a new operator followed by the class name no opening and closing so this itself will create a uh, default constructor without any parameter okay this calls a default uh, constructor uh, without any parameter so here we have not uh, written any constructor function but still this automatically will call that so without parameters then so this instance is created then we uh, pass the value uh, this value and this value will be set to this local member function which in turn will be written to the main program and we can get that value by calling this get author name so this is what a normal function what we have seen so far now we are going to build a constructor we'll see the constructor can be con constructor with keyword construct okay now and we pass some variable parameter for this um, number variable so here how you can attain that by using the this operator this name equal to dollar x so we have attained this value now how to call this you can create um, let us have an object called helpy okay we are going to create this object as well as initialize the object so how you can create an instance by using the keyword u and then the class name followed by parameters if there are any okay here this is without parameter so default constructor is called now we are calling explicit constructor which we have written now so i just pass the value so what happened this object is created as well as this value is assigned to this so we don't call this explicitly automatically this constructor is called and the value for this uh, member where function member variable this value is assigned so for this instance this member variable you have this value for this instance we pass this value and this value is assigned for this instance member variable this value is passed now here we are getting that now let us see what for this help key how to the same way how you read because already it is assigned so here you have to change the object name okay so when i say sujata get author name uh, whatever this is an instance and for that instance this is a Uh, member variable sujata so that we are getting it by using the get author so if there are two instances for this instance also all these member functions variables are created for this instance also all these member functions are created so now here we are two instances where we can call all these functions specific for this particular instance now we'll see how this gets executed now before that let me give a we are So we'll see how it gets executed. So PHP functions one is the name. PHP function. That's the letter.
can you see what mistake So, what is the mistake and step from zero first? Only expected two arguments. We will see how to correct it. So in the previous case, what we have seen is we got so many errors. That is uh, because uh, once the constructor, the one with the constructor is called, the next one, this is already I told you, this is a default constructor. The PHP has its own default constructor. That will not, uh, uh, that will not be executed. It becomes invalid. The default constructor becomes invalid. That is why we got the error. So for example, I'll just execute this. If I just execute this, we'll see how it works. Already we have seen the error. In this case, it posts the error. That is, uh, that is because when the constructor, we have written a constructor, the default constructor becomes invalid. That is what we have seen. So as soon as you create your own constructor, no matter how many arguments it takes, the default constructor is no longer accessible. That is why the next line, it, it is posting error in the next line. Now, uh, let me, let, let me comment this thing. Yes. No. Uh, we'll see how it takes it. Here we have in this program, we have returned a class, we have created a class, and we have a constructor. And uh, no problem because this is not going to be called, and we have used a uh, Using the constructor, we pass the argument, assign the value to the number variable, and then we get the uh, assigned value through this get author name. Now, here we created an object uh, which is of type author, and while creation itself, we initialize the value by passing this value. So, or else, if we don't do that, we have to do these steps. Okay, now we print this. Now, we'll see how this gets into the same program. There is no mistake. But the problem why the previous error has come is uh, when you write a constructor, it will overwrite the default. The default uh, constructor uh, becomes invalid. That is why the error has come. So, in order to uh, eliminate that, we can do like this. So, for example, uh, let us say we have created a class called car and the local variable called model. Then um, constructor is created where we pass the, if the value is null, then what we have to do? If the model is value is null, then if the model, uh, if it is true, then you print that if any value is there. Else you have not entered any value. Like that you can give. Then get the car model. Now, when you pass this, uh, when you assign this value, is now this default constructor. This constructor is called. Okay. 
and since it is true the value uh, is assigned and using get cart model this will be printed okay the next one uh, we have entered without any parameter so at that time uh, it will assign the value null to this uh, argument and then since it is not true now this else part will be entered that is it says you have not entered the model if you see the output for the first one the core model one the core model is morty that's what we have passed here so for this this will be printed then the next the same thing without any uh, value argument we are passing in that case model that uh, or for that argument null value is assigned and the else part is executed and then we have there is the core model since there is no value it just say uh, it is not having any uh, argument 